Racism, the launch of the third official campaign of Eviction Free San Francisco. Um, we're an eviction defense group and we're organizing direct actions against different landlords and speculators displacing San Francisco tenants. This building is being evicted by an investment company called Urban Green. Um, I know. We like to call them Urban Greed. They own um, 140 different units in the city and five different buildings. Um, there are six units in this building, and they're being evicted in April. How long have you lived in this building? Over 50 years. Wow. How do they treat the building, Mary? Oh, they don't maintain it. I wish you could have seen it about two weeks ago. It, no, they, they do nothing to maintain the building. They don't sweep the steps or, or uh, mop the steps. Prior landlords always Every week we had a very nice Chinese gentleman that came and mopped and swept everything, kept things immaculate. Nothing is done like that now. My name is Matt McFarland. I'm, I'm a staff attorney at uh, Tenderloin Housing Woo! Clinic. Yeah, uh, Mary and, and also Sarah Brandt, right behind her, they're both uh, clients of mine here in this building. They received a Ellis Act eviction notice in April. The landlord property owner bought the property in February, served them with an eviction notice uh, roughly two and a half months later. And this is a very wonderful neighborhood, as you, any of you that live in this area, you know how convenient to everything, transportation, safely, uh, restaurants. Urban Green is not what you think of as a landlord. This property owner has no desire to really be a landlord. What this property owner wants to do is purchase a property and then get the tenants out so that they can make a profit on the property. And if there's collateral damage, if, if a 97-year-old tenant who's lived here for 50 years has to leave the city so that they can make a profit, then that's okay as far as their business model is concerned. They're doing this San Francisco greenwashing um, thing. If we let companies like this get away with it when they start, they're going to keep doing it and keep going out of after other people's homes. We need to take this to their homes. We need to take this to their offices. We need to make sure that when you look up their name on the internet, the first thing you get is that they're evicting seniors and families out of their homes. And this is just the beginning. In the wider scope of things, this also depletes the affordable housing stock that we have in San Francisco. Now, we're, we're losing uh, affordable housing user, units all across the city. Ellis Act evictions have gone up 81% in the last year. There's very real effects to very real people and that these people are long-term San Francisco residents. These are people who've lived in their buildings for longer than I've been alive, for longer than the, the, the individuals that work for Urban Green have been alive. And they've contributed to this community, they've raised their families here, they've, they've spent time here over decades. And we like to think of San Francisco as a city that appreciates its history and appreciates its beautiful buildings. But is it a city that, that doesn't have any respect or doesn't have any appreciation for the people that created that history? Keep Mary in her home! 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 Keep Mary in her home!